Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to Cardi Made It. So in today's video, this is going to be episode one of my new series. And it's going to be the AITA series. And if you're not familiar with AITA, it's um, it's an acronym. Is that what you call it? Yeah, so it's an acronym. AITA stands for Am I the a-hole and if you don't know what a-hole i'm trying not to cuss on my channel so you know look up look it up if you don't know what it means but um yeah so this is episode one of aita um and basically i just want to discuss different um subreddits that i like and enjoy and you know see if these people are a-holes or not so y'all definitely join in with me and leave your comments below on um, if you feel the person that's um writing this subreddit is the a-hole or not so this post comes from redditor throw no reveal one and it reads aita for refusing to tell my husband the gender of our baby after he skipped going to the doctor appointment with me hmm let's see my husband and i are expecting this is our first baby and we're excited Thing is, he barely attends any doctor appointments with me, and his excuses aren't even valid. He's willing to miss the doctor appointment over soccer, or a drink, or board game with friends. His response is always, I'm not the one carrying the baby. Why do I have to go see the doctor with you? Last week was my final straw. He was supposed to come with me for the baby's gender reveal appointment, but he chose to not come last minute. Because his friend invited him to fish and chips meal. I was pretty livid, but didn't make a fuss about it. Mom went with me instead. He texted asking me to tell him the results, boy or girl. But I refused to tell him. He kept spam calling me, but I hung up each time. He came home fuming, demanding I tell him the results. But I refused and bluntly told him, since he refused to attend the appointment, then he gets no results till after the baby's born and said I was willing to die on this hill. Mm, girl, not die. He went off calling me spiteful and immature for doing this and punishing him. He said he's the father and has the right to know. He then called me dramatic since I wasn't alone and mom was with me. I said he gets no results, period. He's been feeling about it and told his family and they're now pressuring me to stop playing mind games with him and tell him, but I decline. Hmm, so what do y'all think? Do y'all think she's the a-hole? The immature part of me says no. No, ma'am, you are not the a-hole because if that man really wanted to know, he would have been there. Fish and chips ain't going nowhere. I don't feel like he's taking the birth. I don't think. I don't think he's taking you seriously. I don't think he's taking your unborn child seriously. Like, and I know it's some men that's like, like that. Not mine. My husband is gonna be there every appointment. But it's some men who don't feel like they're pregnant as well. When in actuality, you both are having a baby. So I think. He's a bit immature as well. Hmm. She actually added an update. And she said, uh, first of all, wow, she did not expect this to blow up. She can't answer the comments because she feels overwhelmed. And, and let's talk about being overwhelmed. Your hormones are raging out of control. You're supposed to have a supportive husband by your side. And he's not being very supportive. So I know that's taking a toll on her as well. So yeah, she probably is overwhelmed. Um, the husband even tried to call the doctor to get the results. He's bold. And that didn't go well. And they had another argument about it. And he didn't even call himself. He had his mom call. That's lying. He's lying. Why didn't he call? You're the father. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he had the mom try to pretend to be her. Ooh, what if that's what it was? Mm. So let me let me know what y'all think below in the comments. Do I feel like she's the a-hole? As of today, right now, I don't. And that's the petty part of me. 
Um, they need to sit down and talk and she needs to communicate what she expects from him throughout her pregnancy and let him know what's unacceptable and what what's just not gonna work for her. They really need to sit down and talk. And you know, what y'all think? So let's get into some of the comments that's under this um question. The very first one I see is not the a-hole. Already a deadbeat dad before the baby even is born. Is even born. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to call him a deadbeat. I didn't want to call him a, a deadbeat because sometimes people change once that baby gets here. So I'm not going to call him a deadbeat quite yet. I just think he's um, misinformed or, you know, un, uneducated on what his role should be during her pregnancy so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna call on him a deadbeat and that's from annie 84 i see you though annie something kooky commented to this to be clear this is not a gender reveal appointment it is a full anatomical scan in which they check every organ and limb for potential issues and as a side note can also often tell you which gen genitals babies will have Excuse me. So partner is not just skipping a gender reveal, but leaving their pregnant partner to attend a lengthy appointment on their own, during which they could possibly receive concerning information about the development of their baby. If there are issues, it's often during this scan that they are discovered. Partner is incredibly selfish in showing their true colors. Absolutely not the a-hole. Wow. Mm -hmm. you better say it and then right under that comment emotional fan 7011 i'm skipping the underscores sorry but um this right here she agrees with something kooky this right here this is the scan where you learn if the baby has a congenital defect he should have been there he should have been there because there could have been bad news not the a-hole original poster um op really needs to consider if she still wants to be married to the man wow yes 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 do you have any idea 16 comment i normally hate how the sub jumps to dump the guy so easily however in this case i think op is going to be raising the baby on her own i don't see this bloke changing diapers or getting up during the night not sure if she'll be able to change him but Start with maintaining this as a heel to down. Sometimes Bliss come in and say this. My husband didn't come to many of the ultrasounds or OB appointments due to work, travel. But the 20 week ultrasound, he rearranged work travel to be it. And we were team green. We opted not to find out the sex of the babies. It was too important of a scan from a fetal health perspective for him to miss. Hmm. OP, your husband is massively immature. Massively. Is what, ooh, I agree with that word, massively. I'm honestly concerned about the type of father he be. So for anyone that ends of spanning you about this, because you will get crap from his friend and family group soon, this is what you text back. My husband thought being at the anatomy scan, which also determines the health of the baby's vital organs, in addition to the child's sex, so important that he prioritized going for fish and chips with his buddies over coming with me to this appointment. Clearly, fish and chips is more important to him than finding out whether his child is health. Uh, I don't know. They got me tripping up over these words. <laughs> So until he gets his priorities straight, he and everyone else can wait. If you want to find out the sex of the baby, I suggest you put some pressure on him to man up and behave like a father. Seriously though, sis, he is showing you who he is and what his priorities are. Do you really think anything is going to change long term? I mean, he prioritized fish and chips. You can't get much lower than that. Wow. So I'm going to end reading comments on that note. That was... That was that was it. That was the comment right there. Cause ooh, massively immature. I agree. And I'm not, you know, I'm not one to say that people cannot change. 
they can. But she needs to get on top of that now. She needs to get that straightened out expeditiously. Or she will have 18 years worth of problems. And beyond that, honestly. But that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.